What are some other things that might hurt our brains? Obviously, we've got alcohol, we've got drugs, and we've got you know big metal balls with spikes on the end of them. But I want to talk about a new drug. So current research is showing that pornography is a drug, and that it can lead to addiction. But some of you are looking now; they're going like, "Well, how? It doesn't make any sense. How? Again, I don't sniff it. I don't smoke it. Well, how? Let me show you." Pornography goes in through the eyes, in through the iris, and triggers a release of chemicals in your brain. Chemicals like dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, oxytocin. Now this is a science class, but you may, you know, you may have heard of some of those. Now these are natural chemicals that your body produces. These chemicals are needed. When you do drugs, hard drugs, or look at pornographic material, your brain is overloaded with these chemicals. After you keep looking at porn, your brain gets used to those high amounts and builds up a tolerance. Those same images that once gave you a rush don't have the same effect anymore. In order to get that same rush, it not only takes more of it, but it also takes a more hardcore version of it. Your brain becomes dependent on that rush of chemicals and literally rewires itself to think that that's normal. And so you cannot function without it. That is addiction. The same process happens with cocaine and heroin. They can't stop. You know what part of the brain addiction hurts? They call it the frontal lobes. The frontal lobes are located, just like the name suggests, in the front area of your brain, okay? This area of your brain is a decision-making area of your brain, okay? It's responsible for weighing out pros and cons, logically thinking through situations and scenarios, it's no wonder that addicts have a hard time stopping their behaviors, even when they want to. That area of the brain that is responsible to help them through that is damaged.